have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey, we just passed mile marker 32. So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? I'm tired of people thinking we can't cut it. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. I know a pup that would love to have you around. So, meet Chopper. Hey, Chomps. Could you stop nibbling on your paw and say hello? You've got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears, is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? You can just get caught up in your head about what you can and can't do, and this will show us what we're really capable of. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but we're definitely going to have an adventure. Just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Hey girl, are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. I tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> Your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. 
Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. And it sounds like you feel the same. We'll go deeper and uncover what's out there for us. If you could help and make sure I don't miss anything that I can't see, that'd be great. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. <laughs> but I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it, your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. I think it's just as important to know when to get yourself out of there as it is to know you can handle a challenge. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> You're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary out there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. We'll see what we can truly handle, and what else we might be afraid of. I'm sure it'll put things in perspective. Well, nothing's as scary as manholes. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. This is going so well. well. We've adopted every pup we've met so far. And we have five more stops to find our final team member. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. <laughs> you're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Hey, slippers it is. What do you think? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? 
believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like, but it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Slayer, Finn, Stilton. And the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So let's go. G! Looks like we found some birch trees. I need you to start fires. <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. Well, that worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. We can start a fire at camp now. Let's go, Chomper. Let's take a break. set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears, and we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Should we camp?
We should be able to take care of ourselves here. A fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything to feed you. Ready for pets, Barkley? Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. Okay, you don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. You keeping a lookout for all of us? distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these, and a bit of a scratch here. Pets, pets, pets. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. But the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Get back on the trail. Ready to go? In the road, or two. Ha! It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Just have to, you know, just for wind, distance, that uh, physics. Arcing thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, back to present. Okay, it's just a little further away. Time to take our chance. Great. Just great. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I can't dwell. I can't feel sorry for myself. I did this, and we just have to keep going. Your pups do okay? <sighs> We're on to our last bullet. We need to make it count. Let's get back out there.
Oh, uh, what's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? This shot should be a gimme. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. Well, that was worth it. Well, at least one of us won't starve. So no bullets. This might be tough. I think we're done here. Let's go. Let's look for a good spot to camp. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to eating all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my palate out here? Well, besides the meat. With a side of meat. And a moose bouche of meat. But we'll eat what we can get, right? And while I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food, I can do my best to make sure I make the most of each animal. Let's rest. How's everyone doing? A fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. Food time. Chow down, pups. Time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? 